So uh, this topic uh, is about uh, testing ductile materials for uh, brittle failure. Uh, so uh, the background of this topic is that, uh, well, if you apply load on the ductile material, the load uh, is gradually increased and under this gradual increase, which means that the load is being increased slowly. Uh, so under this slow increase of load, the uh, ductile materials fails in a ductile manner. However, there are many uh, ductile materials. If uh, the load on those materials is applied in a very short period of time, that means the load is increased in a very short period of time. Uh, then those materials would fail in a brittle manner. Okay. So therefore, ductile materials can even fail in a brittle manner under the impact load. So impact load is basically the load when the load is increased to a high value in a very short period of time. Uh, so uh, the impact, the effect of impact on the materials is uh, determined to the impact test and the arrangement of the impact test has been shown over here uh, basically in this uh, arrangement uh, a specimen is prepared okay and uh, a v notch on the specimen is uh, placed or introduced uh, this type of specimen arrangement is called as the uh, char p specimen arrangement. Uh, the other type of specimen uh, arrangement is called as the isod arrangement, but only char p arrangement has been shown. In the char p arrangement, the load is applied from the opposite end of the v notch, whereas uh, uh, in the isod arrangement, it is opposite. The load is applied from the same end of the uh, v notch. So, the specimen is placed here and a heavy hammer is dropped from a height h. So, when that hammer provides an impact to this specimen, that specimen is broken because the load is quite high. So, during that impact, the specimen absorbs some energy, some potential and uh, potential as well as the kinetic energy of this uh, hammer and the remaining energy, with remaining excess energy is exhibited uh, in the form of the rise on the other side by this hammer. So This rise on the other side is represented as H prime. So the difference of energy, difference of these uh, two heights is determined in terms of the difference of the uh, energies uh, which are called as these uh, CVN energies, char P, V notch energies. So the higher the amount of energy will be, uh, higher will be the character of the specimen in terms of the ductility. Okay, Higher the energy is, higher the ductile the uh, material is lower. Uh, if the energy will be lower, then that means the ductility will uh, be less. And the specimen's character will be more about the brittle nature. Okay, so this is a brief uh, introduction about the uh, impact test. Uh, there are many videos, many wonderful videos available on the impact test. So for your more understanding, you can look at some of those videos on uh, YouTube about the impact test. Okay, now let's discuss another part, another um, aspect related uh, to the uh, impact uh, energy. Uh, the transition from the ductile to brittle. I mean, uh, well, a specimen. It uh, when when we when we say that a specimen or a material is a ductile, then that ductile material is uh, 
for some certain conditions so among those uh, conditions uh, one of the condition we have dis discussed in the impact test is that one of the condition for the ductile to brittle failure is uh, the uh, uh, is in the in this impact test that in, that means the uh, rate of the load application the other important condition for the ductile to brittle failure is the uh, temperature yeah temperature is such a uh, variable which is uh, which affects almost every kind of property of the material so in this case the brittle to ductile to brittle transition is also affected by the uh, temperature so in a way that when the temperature is reduced the nature for the failure for the material also changes from the brittle to uh, changes changes from ductile to brittle okay so at higher temperatures the materials are usually ductile and at lower temperatures the same materials become brittle so this is shown by these two curves a and curve uh, b so curve a is for the um, uh, impact energy and curve b is for the shear fracture but anyway let's look at the impact energy so impact energy is shown over here so as you can see that the impact energy reduces as the temperature is decreased right? as the temperature is decreased so you can see that at this level of temperature there is a high impact energy and it's just about at this point there is a change which is happening in the impact energy and then the impact energy is dropping sharply okay to certain value and at certain temperature more there is no more uh, change in the impact energy so it means that uh, the uh, the as we as we have seen that high impact energy means more ductile so this means that ductility more ductility less ductility and almost an absence of the ductility over here as the temperature is decreased so this is uh, the this is in in, in this way how uh, we can explain the uh, transition from the ductile to uh, brittle uh, failure and similarly uh, the other uh, phenomena is for the uh, shear fracture as well so uh, so then that means uh, when the uh, ductility to from the tile to brittle transition happens so different types of uh, materials will exhibit this type of phenomena in a different way so this is uh, represented in this uh, in this graph so here in this graph you can see three curves this green curve is showing you uh, metals metals such as the face centered cubic and uh, uh, hcp uh, metals okay uh, for example copper and nickel so these are uh, these these metals exhibit ductile fracture at almost all temperatures okay as you can see with the, with the with the change in temperature there is no such change in the ductility to um, in the ductility values so their ductility remains same uh, on the other hand and they are quite quite ductile okay and on the other hand there are high strength uh, materials uh, such as uh, high strength steel uh, these materials also do not change their impact energy with the temperature that means their ductility remains the same but in this case the ductility is already quite low so they have brittle nature almost at at most temperatures but there are some intermediate materials such as the bcc metal body centered cubic metal such as the low strength steels and polymers so their uh, ductility values change appreciably with the temperature the curve is similar to the to this curve a over here okay so therefore as you can see that the influence of temperature on the impact energy or in the influence of temperature on the ductility varies from 
one type of material to the other type of material okay so this is uh, uh, something about the impact energy uh, well before i uh, conclude so, uh, before i finish the conclusion main conclusion is that uh, the tactile to brittle transition temperature dbtt uh, materials should only be used at temperatures where they are ductile okay so this is the condition so this was part 4 of the of this topic and then you know, in the next topic we will discuss about the fatigue